I wanted to show everybody how to monitor the approaching storm of Hurricane Irma using this website called earth.nullschool.net. And if you bring that up on your web browser, you can see uh, the entire globe will look like this. But what you want to do, obviously, is zoom in by simply d turning the globe around to the area you want to monitor, double click, and zoom in to the storm. So right now, uh, on uh, tonight, the storm is coming into the Florida Keys, and you can see where the eye is just off of Cuba, and up there is Florida, Lake Okeechobee, and so on. A couple things I want to I want to just introduce you to. Uh, anywhere you click, like if I click up here in Miami, you look down here in the bottom left corner, it shows you the wind speed, and the wind speed will be in various uh, parameters. So if you click on it, you can change it, and you can see there are meters per second and and knots and click again. Most common people would like to see miles per hour, so you can click through there and uh, set the speed to what you would like to monitor. So I'm going to monitor this in miles per hour. That would be the most common for a lot of people. Now notice anywhere I click, it's showing me the coordinates also that I am clicking into. And those coordinates are appended to the end of the URL up here. So the next question is, well, I'd like to monitor one specific area. Okay, a place I'm watching closely is Marathon, Florida. So I would need to know the coordinates of Marathon, Florida. So you bring up another tab in your window type in Marathon Florida coordinates, and there it is. It comes right up on the screen. So you can see it's at 24.7 north and 81.0 west. So what I need to do is go to the browser on Null School and edit this. I'm going to edit the 81.04. So you see you just click up here at the top and then come back in here and edit. So I'm going to edit right here, 81.04. And I'll jump back over to 81.04 and I'll get the 24.72. Go back to null school and edit the end of that, which is 24.72 and hit enter. At this point, it now shows me the dot where Marathon is. Now, all of my data inside the wind box here is related to Marathon, Florida. Now, the next thing you need to understand is if you click on the earth tool you'll see a lot of parameters that you can filter for but all you really want to pay attention to is down here at the area that it says uh, the current time the control it's currently now but if i go forward here and i have to just look at where the click is right here i can click forward and it shows me the next two or three hours and i can see where the wind is now it's at 66 miles an hour from 060. I'll click again. Another three hours. I can see it's up to uh, 74 miles per hour from a direction of 070. And I'll click again. And it gets to 93 miles per hour from 090. This is a marathon. You can see where the eye of the storm is. And you can see where marathon is. And if I click again, I have to look down here because I'm on a little bit of an angle gets to 95 miles per hour at 120 degrees. And the eye of the storm is just then close to Marathon. And I progress through. And I can keep on monitoring this 90 mile an hour winds from 165. And then 98 mile an hour winds from 205. And this is a Marathon. And then I go to the next click, 66 mile an hour winds at 225. And you can see it's going up into the Everglades then and going north. So this is Null School Net and how you edit your location. And I hope that helps you uh, monitor what's coming and where the eye of the storm is with live data from this website. Okay, thank you very much. Everybody be safe. This is going to be a long night.